Hello, my name is Ryan Harper, and today we're going to be looking into a program that has gifted a black business owner in Havelock $25,000 in assistance. So let's take a look. Good morning. I am Dr. Che Ward. I am a uh, licensed psychologist in North Carolina um, and the owner of Hurt and Healing Behavioral Health and Wellness in Havelock, North Carolina. Of course, I'm Lawrence Bowdish. I'm the executive director of Free Research and Issue Networks for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation. I'm also the technical lead for the Coalition to Back Black Businesses. Um, myself and my husband, we've been here less than two years. We were relocated because he's an active duty Marine. Um, and since coming here, um, instead of just going directly back into work in the private sector, I decided that we needed um, mental health services in this area. So we opened Heart and Healing, um, physically opened uh, just over a year ago, and uh, prior to that telehealth due to the COVID pandemic. Well, living in Havelock, um, it's a smaller town, uh, a majority military veteran community. And um, because of its location between a lot of, you know, tourist attractions and a lot of other uh, more populated parts of the state, there are um, some resources that are lacking. Uh, and I found that there was one psychologist in the, um, you know, Tri-City area and very few um, mental health services. And, you know, where there's a need, that's what, you know, the oath I took was to fulfill that need. So I thought this would be the prime area to serve people in need. Um, first, we offer mental health services. So individual therapy, couples therapy, family therapy, and groups for you know anybody from teens to elderly. Um, we also offer assessments for things like uh, learning disorders, ADHD, autism, um, we've done uh, immigration uh, assessments as well as uh, custodial assessments for parents, you know, pursuing custody. And with the grant, we're now able to open a um, full testing center um, where we will now be able to offer even state testing. So you don't have to travel as far as Greenville or 70 more miles to get um, any of your licensure testing or certificates uh, or um, like advanced college entry test, anything that can be proctored via computer. Of course. So the Coalition to Back Black Businesses, CBBV, is a multi-partner initiative with ourselves, American Express, uh, the four national Black ecosystem partners, and a number of other corporate supporters. Our goal is to really improve the access to capital for Black-owned businesses, uh, small ones across the country. So over the past two years, we have been fortunate enough to disperse just under $1,100, $5,000 grants around the country, and then an additional $45,000, $25,000 grants. Uh, and we just distributed the 20 of those about two weeks ago. We had had some experience in the spring of 2020. We stood up a general all small business disaster relief fund following uh, following the COVID pandemics uh, in March and April. Uh, we ran that program through the fall, but in the summer of 2020, we were approached by American Express who really wanted to focus on the needs of black owned small businesses, particularly after what had happened in Louisville and Minneapolis. And so we took uh, our lessons and learnings from that program that we had that was general. And in September, after partnering with the with the Black uh, Chambers across the country, American Express and other funders, uh, we sort of launched this program. Uh, we, between all the funders, we've raised about $16 million. That funding goes towards the grants, which I've already mentioned, along with a coaching and mentorship platform, which is ran by Eureka. Uh, so all of the grantees, they get the funding, they then learn uh, more about, you know, running a business efficiently or growing or any of the specific needs that small businesses might have to develop. And then we offer the enhancement grants at the end for the companies that have shown the most promise through that mentorship and coaching platform. Um, well, COVID allowed for 
for, for therapists, it was unique because we were allowed to now learn how to do telehealth and how to provide services for people we wouldn't normally see because of, you know, distance. Um, but it did uh, put a damper on things because people who are not like technology, technologically inclined um, have trouble receiving services. People who have never entered into therapy need some of that one-on-one -on -one, uh, real feel, if you will. Um, there is a difference in being able to offer services in person than you know, online, and we were limited to that. Um, a lot of the assessments, especially things like ADHD or autism, where you need a hands-on assessment, those were not able or accessible to a lot of people during the pandemic because those are things that we have to do in person. Yes, certainly. And, and, you know, we're more than thrilled to have, uh, you know, uh, have her and other mental health providers uh, on, you know, in our platform, you know, receiving funds. Uh, we don't have a industry focus. Uh, obviously, there's, you know, we have a large number of medical providers of all types, uh, lots of folks in the restaurant industry, uh, transportation is a pretty popular industry. We don't have any limitations on what industry that the business may or may not be in. Our really only el eligibility is that the business has to be uh, black owned, at least fifty one percent. That doesn't have to. Be, we don't require cert cert certification. A self assessment is is sufficient. You have to employ someone other than yourself, uh, but that can be as a ten ninety nine or as a W two contractor, full time, part time, doesn't matter, uh, and have fewer than twenty employees. So the focus is really on these small businesses that do have you know someone else in the shop with the owner. Uh, but you know, ones that are still pretty small at under 20 employees. No other, uh, other than that, there's, you know, we give grants across the country, any industry, um, about two thirds of our grantees are women owned, but that's not something that we were sort of putting a focus on or any goals, but just the, the way that the black business ecosystem works. Sure. So one of the biggest differences between black owned businesses and other businesses, be they owned by other pe people of color or uh, white, white individuals, is that black owned businesses have a much harder time accessing credit. And because of that, the ramification is that black owned businesses are much more likely to start their businesses with funding from their own pockets. Uh, this means that they're already just a, a, when they turn the shingle open the door for the first time. They're likely already steps behind in their capital access uh, than others. And so a lot of that has to do with the amount of capital that is available and accessible to them. Some of that has to do with, you know, how capital is, is, is just distributed, even if there is enough. And so that's why we really put our focus on getting more capital into the hands of those, of those small businesses. And 5,000 doesn't it's not a lot of money to a large business, uh, but it can be. I mean, five thousand dollars with no strings, you know, use it for for whatever you want as long as it's not political activities because we are a charitable organization. It it really can help buy that next piece of equipment, hire that next person, um, you know, build an online store. It really helps them make those those steps based on what their business needs. I am in a network of uh, black psychologists and black therapists and someone um, posted a group on like a Facebook group and said, you know, you guys should apply for this. The initial grant was $5,000 to uh, help, you know, boost any black black businesses that uh, needed it at the time. So, you know, I did that on a whim, not, you know, believing that it would come, but, you know, manifesting it anyway and immediately got approved for that. And because of that, you get the $5,000 to uh, fund whatever services that you're applying for. You also get a, um, a VIP membership with Eureka Business Coaching, and that allowed us to find all of the needs that we had and you, and, you know, like, learn how to uh, branch out in that area, such as marketing, such as uh, web development. It allowed us to hire um, Blue Check Marketing, who's our web design specialist, 
and it allowed us to see all of the areas of lack because I'm a psychologist. I specialize in, you know, psychology, but business, not so much. And I recognize that, you know, I need help in that area. And the grant allowed me to have this mentorship to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly to stay afloat. From there, they choose 20 to 25 promising businesses that are showing that growth and you're allowed to apply to get the enhancement grant to continue this growth. And the enhancement grant was able to provide all the um, services that I just recently stated. For sure. So we back blackbusinesses.com is the website. Uh, when we get to the grant distribution part of the year, which is going to be coming up in mid August, a lot of it, we pull a lot of stuff down to really focus on, hey, get your application in, uh, all the information you need to become an applicant for the program. Uh, but other types of the year, we post resources from our partners. Uh, we make sure that any you know other types of funding opportunities, even if they aren't ours, uh, other types of things that you know either our partners are offering, our funders, uh, we have that on there and available for you know uh, frankly any uh, black-owned small business. And you know we we've been fortunate enough to pass out 1,100 grants over the past few years, but we've had the better part of 40,000 applicants. And so we want to make sure that you know we can't we don't have the funding unfortunately to give a $5,000 grant to 40,000 business owners. We do want to make sure that there's something on there uh, even for folks who we who do not receive the grant. So it's uh, it's a good use of their time and they learn things to help their business. Just being able to have monies available for things like, you know, payroll, small purchases, um, you know, even what I find with a lot of business owners, as I found with myself, um, paying yourself is very important. And a lot of us, you know, will forgo payment just to keep the business afloat. And if that's where it's lacking, the uh, grant does not put um, limits on where you can spend those funds. They just want to know that it's going to forward your business and keep it going. Sure. So we have got, as I mentioned, we've got one more cycle coming up. That's going to be the last two weeks in August, which is National Black Small Business Month. Uh, we have that what, what it's going to happen this August and then following August. We have two more rounds of this confirmed and ready to go. Uh, we are, you know, we're focusing on getting out more grants uh, over time by bringing in more funders. We also are working with Eureka, the coaching partner, uh, to make sure that what these business owners need, that we are receptive to that. Uh, you know, there was, you know, right now a, a big need for business owners is, you know, finding workers, finding labor. There's a labor shortage across the country. Uh, inflation is a growing problem for small businesses. Uh, increasing interest rates, right? These three problems, they weren't real problems when we started in the fall of 2020, but now they are. And we need to make sure that, you know, and we, we are being receptive to those, to challenges like that and making sure that, you know, black owned small businesses have the tools they need. Uh, to address those challenges moving forward. That we are here, we're located just adjacent to Cherry Point, um, that we have both uh, African American and uh, Caucasian therapists available, and that we specialize in all types of therapy. And if we cannot, find you a therapist that's suitable here, we will go above and beyond and try to find you one in the area, but we won't stop until you're connected to someone so you can get help. 